So okay, let's start. I will show you first my workspace. See, you can see it is locked. I have locked it. I found this in the new version of Photoshop. And if you don't know it, it's here, it's workspace and then lock a workspace. I think it's a nice feature. And I have said after saving this whole workspace under Michael painting, you can use new workspace, write your name here. And also I'm saving all basic keyboard shortcuts, the menus, the toolbars. So you have them all very safe. <laughs> you can easily reset them when I'm showing you something. I can reset them and I have also set this function to a key, the F5 key and they jump back again immediately and I have again a free workspace. This is very nice. And let's start with another one. I, for example, this is the reference. Okay. It's in, normally uh, maybe it's a photo of, of somebody or a landscape and, and I want to paint, for example, okay, here I've already this ready set up. So, and you see we have two windows and I'm using the F9 key to arrange them in this way. So I have here this uh, canvas and on the other side the reference. And you can see arrange and I have tile all vertically F9. You can reconsolidate all two tabs with F10. I have said this also. If you want to search them, they are here, edit and keyboard shortcuts, applications menu, and you can go to windows here and scroll down, find them. Here you can consolidate all two tabs and here tile all vertically F9. So this is very um, useful. I have also set this one match all to F3 key. What this does, I will show you now. And okay, let's say I'm painting here and I'm zooming in. Now I've set this match all to F3 key. And the other side will also zoom. Let's say I'm zooming out and press again F3, match all. You see, it will exactly match the size of the canvas I'm painting on it. Okay. And I have done also a good thing. You can do it if you want. And this is here to find to, uh, its view. And I've set to F1 key. So you see, I have all arranged them very close together. F1 is fit on screen. Now what's this? I'm painting here, let's say, and I want to have it perfectly on the screen. So I'm pressing F1. It's perfectly on screen. Now I'm pressing F3 for matching and it will match perfectly. Let's say I'm painting here. Okay. Here's the face somehow somewhere here. Okay. So I'm later on, I am zooming in and I'm pressing F3 for matching and you see will bring me uh, this person in the reference here. You can also do it like that. P press F3 and it will do also this work here. F9 again for tile all and F1, F3. This is very comfortable to paint. So uh, this last one I'm showing you now is also a very good uh, trick. And I have set this also to a key. Let me show you. And this is here, keyboard shortcuts. It will help you also, I hope. And it's in find and edit. It's, it's in the menu. It's in preferences, cursors. And what I'm doing here is I have the normal brush tip normally, okay? So you can see it, brush tip like, um, let's see, that, like the, this one, okay? But when I'm doing line art, or you do, this will disappear very much in, that you cannot see. It. And I have set this menu to a key and it brings me again this window and I am doing precise. What does this mean? Can you see now this very nice cursor for a small tip? And yes, it's very good for painting here portrait and for using a good line art. Again, I'm pressing F4. If later on I want to use a brush and start painting, I can switch here. Now let's start with this one for the sketch. 
you can find it if you want now to set it also to a key. Let's, let me see. Yes, here. Edit. Scroll down. And let's find it. For, oh, yeah, it's okay. Okay, it's in the menu. Very, very uh, the bottom. Preferences. And you can see when I'm going down. Okay, cursors. And I have it on F4. And here you can find it. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I had recorded this small tutorial of very cool tips for portrait painting a few months ago. I hope still it's very useful for you. What you are seeing here is my new episode, it's number two, of Watch Over My Shoulder. And that is a very, very special portrait painting. It took me over 10 hours to paint it and I have compressed it into four hours of painting. You will see just over my shoulder how I'm painting this Renaissance painting just like the very old painters. And you can imagine it already, we are painting digitally. So it's quite difficult to achieve the same painting style. But it's possible. Follow me to this beautiful journey of how I'm painting that warlock here. See you on my website, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching.